I'm Mark Mullins bringing you the latest WRTV headlines. A new initiative from Indianapolis Public Schools aims to recruit and retain more diverse and high quality educators. It's called Proving What's Possible. The district is setting up residency programs, a website for teacher candidates and networking and hiring events. The district is also looking to close the gap between the race and ethnicity of teachers and students in its schools. IPS says 26 of its teachers identify as black or Latinx compared to 85% of its students. We know with full confidence that the district will be best set up for success with a passionate, talented and diverse teacher workforce leading our classrooms. In her message, Superintendent Alicia Johnson points out that IPS has the highest starting pay for teachers in Indianapolis and one of the highest teaching salaries in central Indiana. You can learn more about the district's hiring initiatives in this story at HiringHoosiers.com. Moving ahead this legislative session, a bill that would require Hoosiers requesting mail-in ballots to swear under possible penalty of perjury that they won't be able to vote in person in the 28 days before Election Day. Democrats and voting rights activists opposed the law, saying after the lines we saw for in-person voting in 2020, this change could discourage people from choosing the voting method that's most convenient. Current Indiana law allows Hoosiers to vote by mail for several reasons, but none of those addressing the address rather the early voting period. On Tuesday, the Indiana Senate passed five bills that lawmakers say would curb violent crime in Marion County. They include bail and electronic monitoring regulation, establishing a crime reduction board, and distributing funds to high crime areas for law enforcement overtime and other services. The bills now move to the House of Representatives. COVID testing remains in high demand. On Tuesday, people lining up at the Indianapolis Urban League's weekly food distribution also got a chance to take home free at home testing kits. Remember, free tests and masks are available through the government programs. You can find links to all of this at WRTV.com.